oxtail and butter bean done inside the slow cooker. Fast, easy and simple as always. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel and to my kitchen. This is a requested recipe into the slow cooker. Let's get started. Hey, here comes our old boy Jamaican. Okay guys, this is a requested recipe. You guys want me to show you how to make Jamaican oxtail and butter bean into your slow cooker. I'm going to put a link below to show you how to make oxtail many different ways. So go ahead, check down below, the links are there and you'll see how to make it stove top style and pressure cooker style. This one is going to be in a slow cooker. Alright guys, the first thing I did was wash my oxtail with lemon juice and vinegar. You want to soak it a little bit in that water for about 15 minutes, throw it off two times, wash it nice and clean, and you are ready. Your oxtail is ready. That right there is about two and a half pounds, two, two and a half pounds or three pounds of oxtail, and it cut exactly how I want it to cut. Now, let's get into the other ingredients we're going to use to make this oxtail recipe. Now, of course, I'm going to add my vinegar. This right here is about three cups of vegetable stock. Now, you could use beef stock if you want to, but whenever I'm using stocks for meat, I always go for veggie, all right? Now, you're going to need a can of butter bean, pimento seeds. Now, guys, you could use any pepper of your choice. I'm choosing to use green and red. That's red right there. And I'm going to add one large onion, scallion and thyme and my hot pepper of course because i mean scotch bunny pepper i'm going to use some fresh garlic to it now guys to spice it up you need salt and black pepper ginger you also need oxtail seasoning jamaican all-purpose seasoning right this up and this is your browning to give it that color that you so please all right, so that is what I'm going to use. And this right here is how to make oxtail into your slow cooker. Let's get started. Okay, guys, I have my oxtail here that is nice and clean. And we are going to season this thing up and get it ready for cooking. You're going to add your black pepper, oxtail seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. That's my Jamaican all-purpose seasoning salt, pimento seeds, ginger, garlic, fresh scallion, sweet pepper, some fresh thyme, and my onions. And guys, you want to use half of all your seasoning, okay? So, Whatever you get prepared, you're going to use half of it. Vinegar. And my browning to color this thing. And I'm going to show you guys how to make browning from scratch. The link will also be down below. And with clean hands, you go ahead and you season this thing up. Rub it in real good. And I'm going to let this sit for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then we are going to get this thing on the stove top and then into the slow cooker. So that is what that looks like. So let's move on to our next step. Okay, guys, I have the pot on the fire right there. And I have some cooking oil in it. I'm going to use my dutchie to get this thing started. And make sure you have your meat sitting and marinating for a good 40 minutes. You want to go ahead and put your oxtail in. So what I'm looking for here is a nice color. Alrighty, so now that my oxtail is the color that I want it to be, right? So that means I've been cooking this thing for about 15 minutes because we want to achieve that color, that perfect color 
before I go ahead and put it into the slow cooker. So let's transfer these into the slow cooker. Okay guys, so there I have my slow cooker. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my oxtails in. That looks pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna do is get my vegetable stock. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in. And I have about three cups of vegetable stock. And of course you could use beef stock. Now I'm gonna put the rest of my vegetables in. I'm a scotch bonnet pepper. Now guys, to thicken up that gravy, you could add tomato paste, you could add ketchup, or if you want, you could even have spaghetti, spaghetti sauce to it, to thicken it up. So that look really, really good. I'm going to put my lid on that. And then turn my pot on high. Now it's time for me to add those beans in and you want to make sure that you take them out of the can and you want to rinse them off. Make sure you don't get no add extra liquid into that oxtail because remember you are using your slow cooker. So you add your butter beans on top. And you just want to leave those butter beans on top. Don't mix it in. Just let it sit right there and just cover it up. Okay guys, so that looks really, really, really good. Everything came together nice. It's nice and tender. Oxtail and butter beans in my slow cooker. And you see? Look at the gravy guys, look at the gravy. That is some perfect gravy right there. So like I said guys, you just, with your oxtail, everybody oxtail uh, texture of your meat is different. So you just wanna cook it until it comes together and it's nice and it's tender. Just like that. Always subscribe like and let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it don't simmer a time we eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.